What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be doing front brake lines on this car. Um, this is my buddy's car again. And for some reason, they were removed on this car. I don't know if it was him, I don't know if it was the painter, but there's no hard lines. So we have hard lines, and we have the two front soft lines to do. Um, so I had him order a front brake line kit. That way I didn't have to make them, and it came with all the pre-sized fittings. So this is actually CJ Pony parts, which the company is classic to. So we're going to be using uh, this kit today. We'll see how it, how it works out. Um, let's get it open up. Make sure we have everything. Okay. Obviously they're uh, they're pre-bent, which is a nice thing, but they're also bent to fit in the box. Which it's labeled, thankfully. I mean, not that we need it shipping bent, so we'll unbend this section and see where it lands. So we have one, two. We have those two, and then we have three and four, which are from our master cylinder to our proportioning valve. Um, I don't know if this is instructions or if this is just a sales flyer. Doubt it's instructions, and it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll just step back. The longer one that I held out, held up, will be our passenger side, and then the shorter one here will be our driver side. And like I said, those are master cylinders to our portion valve. Yeah, no, not instructions. It's just a sticker. And it says where to undo for the shipping bend and how to undo it so you don't ruin the line. Now, on this car, um, I had my buddy, I told him to order a 93, actually, yeah, I believe it's a 93 Cobra master cylinder. That way we could do a rear disc brake conversion uh, later down the road. But this one has your two side ports, your one lower port, and then he also went ahead and ordered the 93 Cobra. Um, brake booster, which we previously installed on this car, not in a video, but previously installed. And to do that, you have to bash in the driver's side shock tire a little bit to make that fit. But let's go ahead and let's see what we got, see how these fit up, and see what we can get installed. Lastly, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please uh, subscribe down below. I'm only, I don't know, 10, 13, something like that away from a thousand subscribers, which would be great for you to hit that by the end of the year. But, um, yeah, subscribe if you can. I post a lot of Fox Body related content and videos and a lot of how to's. So, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks, guys. Okay, uh, first thing I did is before I go any further and actually install these, I um, make sure all the fittings are correct, which they are. And I just wanted to make sure of that using the 93 uh, master cylinder that they are. So, obviously, these lower ones. They're the ones that are hooked and bent straight will be going to the master cylinder side and then the two different colored ones um, There's a blue one is for the closer to the power wall and then this color is closer to the radiator uh, So these two are all set. It's pretty simple. They just go from your portioning valve to your master cylinder and then Right here So those two will go there the lower one. This is for your rear brakes so our rear brake line, which is hanging out right here, will get plumbed to this, which I went and picked up fittings yesterday at the auto parts store, and it's 3 16th for a stock car. It's 3 16th hose, and I got M10 by 1. Um, so this should do the lower part here. And then the two front brake lines, shorter one being the driver's side, and then this longer one here being the passenger side, these will come and connect to the bottom of the bottom of the proportioning valve. So let's uh, let's get the master cylinder installed. We'll get these two lines hooked up to it, and then we'll worry about uh, getting our driver and passenger side connected all up. And then lastly, I will put the fitting on this. I'll probably do a double flare um, and get that cleared up. Also, just a tip of general advice: um, these wrenches here are flare wrenches or flare nut wrenches which are specifically made for these flare nuts 
That way you could get it on and off with the brake line, that's why it's cut. And you still get a six sided thing so you don't strip these. So these are notorious for stripping out. Obviously these are all brand new, so that's really not gonna happen. But when they get rusted on there, that's when they get notorious for that. And these are the best wrenches. You can pick these up, 10, 15 bucks for metric and standard. I believe this car is metric um, at the local auto parts store, or I got these ones from Amazon. Okay, first things first, we're getting the master cylinder installed. I have a pair of Vernier calipers right here, digital. Makes it a lot easier, especially if you don't know how to read them. Um, and we are going to measure the push rod length in the brake booster and make sure that's all set for the master cylinder itself. That way, when everything's all together, the pedal action is where it should be. So I'm not really going to go over this. Pretty simple. Measure, take, make sure you're uh, accounting for your offsets. And yeah. Also, uh, no, I was wrong. This is actually an American-made company, these brake lines. So these are standard fittings. I believe uh, because the standard brake line wrenches or flare wrenches work. Anyways, point of this clip is I uh, just to keep in mind start from your back or the driver or towards the firewall first, and then work your way out. And that way it'll provide room to work for the first one easy, and then provide room to work for the second one. If you do the front or the radiator support one close to the radiator support first, then you'll have issues with the wrench here. So uh, just a little tip of advice: start from the back, work your way forward. All right, guys. Uh, we have our proportioning and master cylinder line installed. As of right now, I just want to say this kit's phenomenal. Um, there's no major issues so far. Everything fits up right. All the fitting sizes are right. And I think it was like 80 bucks plus shipping to the house, which in my opinion, to save the time bending all your lines and figuring that out, it's worth $80 all day long. So definitely check out Classic Tube. Um, if you're looking for brake lines, I'd highly recommend them after doing this. So now, since we have our proportioning valve to match cylinder lines installed, we're going to get started on our other hard lines to the passenger side and then the driver's side. And then eventually I'll connect this one hanging in the air to our rear brake lines to the bottom of the master. Okay, for anyone doing this themselves, I just want to show you how the factory hard line goes. I just checked my 87 to make sure I'm doing this the correct way. So what happens is um, with this one, you see it here, this will go right to your stock. Uh, brake clip which is literally right behind this shock here and that's why it's bent like this and then this will go up to the bottom of the portion valve so it goes between the cane lever and the frame rail right here and then sneaks up which I'm going to have to feed through the other side and then there you have it um, so it'll feed right through here this is just loose because neither ends are connected um, but it'll run like that from your clip right here under the frame rail and then up into the bottom of the proportioning valve. As for the passenger side, if you buy this kit, your shipping bend will be here, roughly. I have both uh, running with the, this is the rear one, the one that's painted black, and then the new one. I have it running along with the, which is the rear brake line all the way across to the master, or the booster rather. And then these ones, they come and they tuck down here underneath, run under the booster and then they will come up from the proportion valve over here. So, on this side, I have one, two, and then three, and now we need to cut flare this one. Now this one, I believe, goes a different route, but because of the length and what I have, I'm just doing it this way to match the other one behind the booster and up and under. And then I gotta get these two connected. I believe the passenger side one goes to the rear, the prop valve, and the driver side, goes to the front of the prop valve beneath. So we can get that installed, get that all squared away, and then we'll work on our soft lines. Although I don't know if I'm gonna do that in this video, but I just wanna get as much done as I can and show you guys how to do it. I just wanna take the time to point out that I actually installed the passenger side brake line backwards. Uh, I noticed that when I went to do the fitting on the portion valve down here, and I just had way too much brake line. So I flipped it around and then it's definitely, you could see the bend come a lot better in. And I tuck this one, the driver's side, back out of the way for the time being because I guess, like my dad always says, you got to practice what you preach. And I had installed that, jumped the gun on that, and that got in the way of tightening that nut. So I just kind of tucked it back down there for the time being. So that's all set. And then you can see how this, I got to tuck this up a little bit better. Just but to just note, if you do end up buying this kit where the shipping bend tag is, that's what goes around your brake booster. Uh, 
so I just want to inform you guys of that, that I did make that mistake, um, but now it's all set and fixed, and it makes more sense this way. So let me keep going. Now we're going to put the driver's side um, to the bottom of the stock. Okay, case. guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, we got all the hard lines installed. Like I said, I made a mistake on the bash side line. I had that backwards. So if you do buy the classic tube kit, um, the shipping bend side is right near your brake booster. We have our master cylinder installed. We now have our proportioning valve and all the lines connected to it. And then we have our rear brake line coming to the bottom of the master cylinder. So that's going to wrap it up. That's pretty much it. I would highly recommend this kit for the price you pay, $80 plus shipping. Um, for getting all the fittings, the pre-bent lines. The lines are also pre-cut for length. And everything's already flared. Um, and ready to go. So, stay tuned for more content. I'm keeping working on this car. Um, I got soft lines to do still, which I'll probably do in the next couple days. And then I just need to fix the rear hard line and put on the mufflers. And this car should be good to go. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys.